Hello, and welcome back to Storytime with Eric Zimmer. I have one other more classic by Laura Numeroff and illustrated by Felicia Bond before I read my next Roald Dahl tale. And it turns out, ah, there's actually a third story with the mouse in particular. I knew there was the cookie one and the movies one, but this one is if you take a mouse to school. And like I said before, I will read the movies one around Christmas because it has a Christmas theme to it. So for now we'll read If You Take a Mouse to School. You ready? All right, let's begin. <clears throat> if you take a mouse to school, He'll ask you for your lunchbox. When you give him your lunchbox, look at the dinosaurs, he'll want a sandwich. And a snack for later. Then he'll need a notebook and some pencils. He'll probably want to share your backpack too. When you get to school, he'll put his things in your locker and take a look around. Everybody's looking at him. He might do a little math and spell a word or two. Huh. Some of these words I didn't even know existed. He even spelled onomatopoeia. Well, hey, Arnold could do it too, but still, that's impressive. They must be second or third grade at least. He'll even try a science experiment. Uh, I hope he didn't put too much baking soda and vinegar in it. Then he'll need to wash up. Oh <laughs> yeah, definitely. You'll have to take him to the bathroom once he's nice and clean. Guys, give him some privacy. He'll be ready for his lunch. On the way to the lunchroom, he'll see some building blocks. He might build a little mouse house. It looks like an estate for his size. Look at how big it is. And make some furniture out of clay. Nice. Then he'll need some books for his bookshelf. He'll start by writing one of his own. So he'll need a lot of paper. Looks like they're all eating lunch too. He'll probably use up all your pencils and they look like colored pencils too. When he's finished, he'll want to read this book to you. Good night, Mouse, by Mouse. Then he'll want to take it home, so he'll put it in your lunchbox and tuck it in a safe place. When the bell rings, he'll run out to wait for the bus. While he's waiting, he'll play a quick game of soccer. Then he'll ask you to shoot a few baskets. Oh, careful there. And do a little skateboarding. Love that design. When he stops to catch his breath, he'll want to eat his snack. So he'll ask you for the your lunchbox. And chances are, if he asks you for your lunchbox, you'll have to take him back to school. What a nice little story. The end. I'll see you all next time on Storytime with Eric Zimmer. And I promise you, it's going to be a Roald Dahl book. Can't wait.